Welcome to Democracy 2015, an RTV6 special breaking down the top primary elections and giving you in-depth coverage for your community. I'm Todd Connor. Hi, America Fly. We have a lot going on across central Indiana tonight with several incumbents taking home a win and multiple school districts agreeing to pay more in taxes to help students. Tonight, we start in Hamilton County, where Republican Jim Brainerd is positioned to take on a sixth term as Carmel's mayor. He beat City Council President Rick Sharp in the primary tonight with 63% of the vote. Our TV6 State House reporter Katie Hines joins us live now with both candidates' reaction and what's next. Katie. You can see the lights are on, but the crowd has left Brainerd campaign headquarters here in Carmel, where a celebration was underway just up until about an hour or so ago. Here it was a margin that widened throughout the course of the evening as the results continued to come in. And Mayor Brainerd tells us that he feels the way forward for the city is to continue with what's worked in the past. The Honorable Jim Brainerd for his sixth term, the day of gloom has lifted from Carmel. Yeah! With that, Mayor Jim Brainerd is introduced to supporters and declares victory. But looks like we've won almost all of our uh, slated races. <laughs> Which means we can sit down in a collaborative way and really help move the city forward. Brainerd says the first task at hand is to get all of the newly elected officials together and work on a plan for the city's future. Continue to grow with high, uh, high quality growth. We want to continue our park and trail system. We want to continue to be something more than just a bedroom suburb. Uh, we want to continue to compete for the best jobs anywhere. City Council President Rick Sharp says he's disappointed in the loss, but not in his campaign. He'll continue in his role through at least the end of his term later this year. If you look at the historical record, uh, this and previous councils have always worked with the mayor. Um, I can't think of a single major initiative that any council that I've been a part of has stopped the mayor from doing. So we'll continue in that vein. But he continues to echo concerns he voiced during the campaign. Realizing the fact that, uh, that debt is real and that without a change in fiscal policy, uh, 12 years from now, uh, there will be a problem paying the debt. And voters here in Carmel will still head to the polls for November's general election, but that's really more of a formality at this point with only two Republicans who were vying for the office. Reporting live in Carmel tonight, Katie Hines, RTV6. Katie, thank you. Staying in Hamilton County now, the incumbents in both Westfield and Noblesville are now positioned to hold on for another term. Westfield Mayor Andy Cook beat Republican challenger Pike Township firefighter Jeff Harp in the primary with 61% of the vote. Noblesville Mayor John Ditzler beat GOP challenger Mike Corbett, the publisher of Hamilton County Business Magazine. Ditzler won 58% of the vote. We 